Even though I had only four hours in my hand when I decided to leave for Chakrata the same night, it was such a wonderful experience, and I would love to do it again. Hi guys, welcome to Chakrata. This is the resort we are staying at, and that's the amazing view that we have got from most of our rooms. And this is. Our room. You can see there's a bunker there, which is really cute. And that is the beautiful view. You don't need a TV in this room because the view itself is so amazing. We are heading to our first destination for today, which is Tiger Falls. It's one of the highest waterfalls of Uttarakhand, and I'm very excited to see it. So this was the first time I was traveling with a group of strangers and never in my wildest dreams had I thought I will have so much fun with them. So guys, now we have reached the starting point of the trek downwards. While coming back, we have to climb up. So let's go. People say that spending time in nature improves a person's overall health and I truly believe in this. Every time I go for a hike or spend time in nature, I realize how true this is. I get so much clarity about various things in my life. I feel better physically, mentally and it just brings me so much of happiness. The highest waterfall of Uttarakhand, the Tiger Falls, are hidden in the hilly terrains of Chakrata. It is 98 kilometers away from the state capital Dehradun and 20 kilometers from Chakrata. To reach the Tiger Fall, one needs to trek for about 1.5 to 2 kilometers, and the trek is as beautiful as the waterfall. We reached the waterfall in approximately half an hour. Being around clean and beautiful water bodies makes me instantly very happy. So I decided to take a dip. The rocks here are super super slippery but I still managed to get inside with the help of my new friends. So our legs were numb for the first 10 minutes that they were underwater. It was freezing cold, but it was such an amazing experience. Changed. We have had some Maggie and we are heading back up the hill now. We have to go back all the way and we are going to a sunset point right now. It's around it's 3.30. It will take us some time to go up as well and after that we'll be going to a sunset point. And hopefully we make it on time and hopefully the weather is clear so that we can capture it for you guys. So guys, in case you are wondering and uh, in case you are coming to this waterfall, you don't have to worry about changing your clothes. There are enough changing rooms available.
the way back is a bit more tiring than the way to walls but it's fun i'm enjoying it welcome to our vlog guys hamari battery drain ho chuki hai guys please bring red bull from the next time aur extra pair of kacche with you If you want to step into your trekking or hiking journey this waterfall is a perfect place to start with and the waterfall at the end is a wonderful reward that you'll get to see once your hike down is over Now we are on the main road and that's our traveler See you at the next spot. So, guys, we have stopped by in the market right now. I'll show you a bit. Uh, we are here only for five to ten minutes, just for some necessary stuff. It's a very small local market, and we are heading to the sunset point as I promised. So, guys, we are trying bal mithai, which is a famous uh, Uttarakhand sweet, and. It looks amazing. Do try it when you come here. Guys, we have now reached the sunset point. And then it was time for some chaya chaya on top of the traveler while enjoying this beautiful evening. And we ended our day one with a beautiful sunset. Hi guys, good morning. So it's the next day today. Uh, I'm all nice and clean. So I'm gonna soak in the sun for a bit and then ready. Okay, we'll leave for the day. So today we are going to Budher Caves, and it's a hike of about five kilometers up and five kilometers down. At the resort we were staying at, I met Snowy, who was such a cutie. Going to Moira Top and their caves, and we have to hike around five kilometers up and then five kilometers down. So, stay tuned. So our trek started on a very smooth note. We were able to see some snow-clad Himalayan peaks. We were able to see some snow. We found the trek very smooth and flat at the moment. we were able to see the leftover snowfall leftover snow and it's usually very dangerous but yahan pe thoda tik tak sa hai make sure you wear good shoes when you go to such places i'm absolutely loving this hike this is such a typical hilly landscape and it has a little bit of everything it has great views it has patches of snow and melted snow and uh, the trail is a bit rocky and it is not steep aur kya chahiye trail se and i was so wrong when i said that the trail is not at all steep 
it started and it never ended. After steep climb, करने के बाद we finally have some flat stretch to walk on. And I wasn't very right for a long time. This is the kind of rocky terrain that we are climbing on, and there's still a lot more to go. So guys, we finally reached the Moira top, and there's a meadow over here. I'll show you around. There's this beautiful meadow. Amazingly beautiful, and behind me you can see the entire Himalayan range, and there's a temple over there, Pari Temple, there. So I'm going there now. The camera is not doing justice to the beautiful view of the Himalayas that we had. This temple stands all alone on top of this hill, and there's so much beauty in its simplicity. Personally, thought that the Pandeji was so resilient to be handling the temple alone, all by himself, and he also gave us some prasad. This Pari temple behind me, and it's also called Shilgur Devta, Shilgur Temple. I forgot to turn on my mic in the shot, but I'm probably saying how steep the way down was, and there was no proper pathway to go, so one has to be very, very, very careful while going down. Now we are going to uh, Bhudeer Caves, and you can see the opening of the cave over there. I'm going there. The opening of the Bhudeer Caves is very small, and one probably needs to crawl to get inside. And if you're planning to go inside the caves and explore it, don't forget to carry a lot of lights and torches because it's it's very very dark inside. Legends believe that Budeer caves were built by Pandavas of Mahabharat to escape when their castle was set on fire, and it is believed to be more than 150 kilometers in length during that time. I would suggest going inside the caves only if you are in a group and not just by yourself or with just one friend. And also make sure that you are going inside well in daytime and. Carry a lot of torches and lights, and don't go very deep inside. And last but not the least, wear shoes that have good grip because it's very watery inside the caves. And since the visibility is low and basically zero without lights, it might get very difficult to see, and it might get very very slippery. And I'm not trying to scare you, but there were tons of spiders inside the cave.
guys now we are heading back we are heading down the hill and we are very 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 super hungry it's almost 4 30 pm and all we have had since morning is our breakfast so let's speed up so guys we are almost about to reach at least the steep part is over i think it will take us another half an hour or so to walk on this road this trail and i'm so hungry but this chewing gum is all i could find So guys, the vlog ends here. Thank you for watching this. Thank you so much for all your love. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. -bye.